राइट नाउ टॉप फाइव प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज विच आर यूज इन कंपनीज आर लाइक सी सी प्लस प्लस जावा पाइथन एंड रूवी एंड पी एच पी इज ऑल्सो गेटिंग यूज जावा यूज फॉर एप्लीकेशन बिल्डिंग एंड वेब डेवलपमेंट सी सी प्लस प्लस आर राइट नाउ यूज फॉर मेकिंग फ्रेम वर्क और द लैंग्वेज इट्स एल्फ एंड पी एच पी इज यूज फॉर वेब डेवलपमेंट सिमिलरली पाइथन इज स्क्रिप्टिंग लैंग्वेज विच इज वाइडली यूज इट इज हाई लेवल प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज एंड इंटरप्रेटेड लैंग्वेज which is widely used because of its uh, integration with any language so it, if given any platform it can be integrated with with dot with that platform there are various companies which use this python language they won't tell you specifically whether they are using or not or not like uh, many companies like even nasa google hp or take any company they will be using with this python language uh we can use this python language for automation purpose we can automate things we can uh, parse the data means uh, we can get meaningful data from a uh, bunch of data one bunch of meaningless data we can get the meaningful data out of it we can extract the data we can use it for making softwares we can use it for making web development we can use it for uh, so there are many applications of uh, python language Uh, right now we for web uh, for web applications we uh, we use python for uh, back back end and for gui also at desktop gui we also use use it there is a very good application kiwi so as we know in uh, various companies uh, use python and there is no company which won't be using python right now because of its integration with any language people are actually importing code from other programming language to python Python is very easy to learn. So the previous knowledge you require uh, before going to this course is only the uh, little bit introduction to operating system, uh, like installing how to install Python or how to maybe run the commands in CMD or terminal. Other than that, uh, uh, even a mechanical guy or maybe a non-technical person can also learn Python. The way I am going to teach Python course will be like that. Even a non-technical guy will be able to understand the course. From 2013 to 2016, the applications of Python or the users of Python have been increased by 300 percent. And if we uh, see the trend, then Ruby and Python are the most popular language right now. So, talking about what can we expect from the course, uh, so we will be uh, learning basic Python and then advanced Python. Along with the course, we will be also also solving uh, basic uh, real life problems, which can be solved using Python command Python. language and then we will be also doing some project which is which will be same or similar to the project which are uh, used in the industries so like industries uh, give some project to their employees the same similar same or similar project will be given at the end of the course along with this course we will also try to give you all the problems or all the question which are going to be asked in the interview if you mention python in your resume so uh, you can be prepared for any interview and you can get prepared for the uh, you can also work on the projects you can also automate or uh, make your own projects by yourself so like if you want to do something in iot so python is very handy with that so if we talk about any scientific or numeric calculation if we talk about any integration with any software if we talk about automation if we talk about iot if we talk about uh, take any example we can use python anywhere in uh, so this is the reason why we uh, we want we will learn python in this course so the intended audience may be if you if you are a btech student if you want to learn some programming language then python will be very helpful because it is a very easy language to learn if you are a btech course student and want to do research or any project then then also you can learn python if you are any research person then also uh, python is very helpful because uh, we can use for scientific and numeric calculation if you if you are in any organization or, or want to join any organi- organization then also python will be very helpful because right now industries are asking for people who le- who have basic knowledge of python or maybe have experience in python we will cover basic course basic python course and then we will cover advanced python course so in basic python we will be learning uh, what is python basic data structure data type and uh, if else while statement which we learn in any programming language then we will be going to some object oriented concepts also in advanced python we will be learning some advanced concept uh, related to operating systems or maybe some specific standard libraries like how to do for how to do multi threading all this concept will be covered in advanced python after this advanced python course we will also cover standard libraries 
most common standard libraries which are getting used in many organizations. So what can you expect from this course after, after completing this course? You will uh, have basic knowledge of Python. You will also be learning some uh, standard libraries which you can use for automation purpose, which you can use for uh, IoT, which you can use for your BTEC projects. And also after this course, you will be able to join any organization 